Hello, Justin Ullman here for StogiReview.com. Here coming to you from IPCPR 2017. Uh, glad to be back on StogiReview.com. And today I'm joined by Frankie Santos, the uh, the head janitor for AJ Fernandez. Yes. No, yes, marketing yes. director. No, no, I am. I am. Both, yeah? both. Okay. Both. So Frankie and I go back many years. He's been a supporter of StogiReview.com. So we're here to talk about what's new with AJ Fernandez. Frankie? How you doing? Brian, good to see you. Nice seeing you. Justin, good to see you again, sir. You too, buddy. All right. <laughs> We've got two new releases this year, starting with the New World Puro Especial. As you all know, one of our uh, most famous brands is the regular New World that was in a Maduro and in a Connecticut. And now we have a New World Puro Especial. All the tobaccos from this blend are out of AJ's different farms in Esteli. Okay, so we came out with three sizes. We've got a Robusto, five and a half by 52. We've got a short Churchill, six by 48. And if you pan down, uh, it's not open, but uh, actually it's not even here. But the other size is a, 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 a regular Toro, a, a six by 54 roughly. People have seen Toros before. Yeah, they've seen Toros, yeah. It's not not, not that difficult what to understand. Price point? The price point, MSRP, suggested retail price, between eight and nine dollars. Are these available now? Or are they They're shipping as we speak. So they'll be hitting your store shelves within the next uh, week, week or two. Okay, and we got one other new release. We have one other new release. Uh, it is not very close to here, so let's... We'll take a hike. Yeah, let's take a hike. Let's hope it's this one. But actually, as we're, as we're going to the new release, we're running into the new packaging for the San Lotano. This is the blend that actually put AJ on the map and we decided it needed a new package, a new cigar ring. And if you closely, if you see closely the boxes, the artwork on the ring depicts AJ's hometown in Pinar del Rio called San Luis. So that's a depiction of the, uh, the town center in San Luis. And we decided to make the boxes a little bit more shelf friendlier, so they're a lot thinner, so we can fit more facings on the store shelf. And now we also run into the brand new Enclave. The Enclave Broadleaf, sporting a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper and binder and filler from AJ's Farms. This is another incredible cigar, and I'm sure you all enjoy it just as much as you enjoy all of the rest of AJ's brands. What are the price points for the new one? It's also the same, roughly eight to nine dollars suggested retail price. And these also shipping right now? They're shipping right now, three sizes, a Churchill 7x52, We've got a regular Toro here, a little thicker than a regular, six and a half by 54. And it's, oh, it's down here, the five by 52 Robusto. We'll come out with more sizes later on, but we decided to come out with three sizes for each of the brands, just to make it a little easier for everyone. Was uh, FDA any part of that consideration? You know, uh, kinda... uh, yes and no. When it came to the packaging, the FDA was considered because we're gonna have to start putting warning labels oh, yeah. on our boxes. So we pushed up the name so we could fit the FDA warning label right down here and it doesn't compromise the design. Okay, well that makes sense. I guess that probably applies to the, the San Latano. Absolutely, well. yes it does, yes it does. Well, good, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us, sir. Thank you. Good morning, I'm glad to be here with... Uh, Hold on, Frankie. <laughs> You're jumping the gun here, buddy. <laughs> He said go. Outtakes. Yeah. All okay, right. Okay, you go. <laughs>